Um, are you seriously suggesting that the U.S. should be indifferent to whether Israel survives? I think, I think that's exactly what I'm suggesting. How could that possibly be when Israel is the closest ally and when it's the only democratic state in the region? Well, I think democracy is, a, is, a, is sort of a silly foreign policy goal, sir. We've proved that pretty much in Afghanistan. Why is, it, why is it silly when we've shown that democracies are less likely to wage war on each other I, than I think democracies? That's, uh, Mr. Sebastian, that's an academic school. I think it's very here, strong here at Georgetown. Democracies are... But do you have any counter-argument to that? Well, I would... Uh, just uh, four years in the United States when the world's two greatest democracies have managed to kill 640,000 of their own people. Uh, democracies will fight just as other people will. But it's not the business of the United States, never has been, to install democracy anywhere. We don't do it very well. We do it ridiculously badly, as a matter of fact. And not to preserve countries that have democracies? I don't see any Why reason. Not? You know, that, that, that's a canard that's very popular, that countries have a, a right to exist. Countries have a right to defend themselves. And, and your accusation that Israel and its, its representatives corrupt U.S. politics? No, not at all. I, I very seldom talk about Israel at all. I said uh, pro-Israeli Americans. Right, pro-Israeli Americans. What's your evidence of saying they corrupt U.S. politics? <laughs> Look what they did to Ambassador Freeman in the past couple of weeks. Is that corruption of U.S. politics? It, that, that's a lobby is. doing what a lobby does, isn't is that, it? Well, that, that may be the case. Well, then I would argue that the, the fact the that... The tobacco lobby does what it does, the gun lobby does what it does, and the Israel lobby, whichever of the many groups it embraces, does what it does. The difference that's, on, that's the lobby system, isn't it? Uh, well, none of the other lobbies you mentioned, sir, uh, do things that eventually uh, rebound to America's uh, harm. The Israeli lobby does exactly that. And what exactly has the harm been? What the Israeli lobby has done is to convince Americans, or have tried to convince Americans, that Israeli interests are identical with U.S. national security interests. A lot of people would believe that to be true. Well, a lot of people are foolish then, and leading America into defeat. Michael Scheuer, thank you very much indeed.